What's up? It's James Duffermano. You're watching the Kerrang! Podcast at Reading. We thought it'd be more fun to get a guy to spray paint the name of our record on a backdrop. So, yeah, we did that. It was fun. I can't remember who came up with it. Um, we thought it'd be a bit more interesting than just releasing the name online or telling people. So we were like, yeah, might as well use Reading as a platform to release the. It's a lyric from one of the songs, and basically the record is about all these countless nights, it's about experiences and stuff we've done, so it kind of sums it up. I wrote it and recorded it on my iPad, sent everyone a demo, <laughs> they learnt them and then we just rehearsed and played them live. But it normally it's the same process always, I, I, I write the songs, just record a crap demo, send it to everyone, they learn them. For me, it's, it sounds more comfortable. It sounds like really natural. It's like, it's the first record we've recorded together and actually not tried to sound like anything. We just, we just played and it came out. We recorded it live, or most of, most of it live. So it, just, it was just like really, I don't know. It sounds more natural, it sounds more organic, for want of a better word. It's quite diverse. Um, there's a couple of heavy songs. There's about... Three or four chilled out songs. I don't know, it's like, it's quite different to most other stuff we've done. It's very diverse. Um, it, the, new, the, the new record is very much like up and down. Like it's, it's like the, the songs that are in your face are really in your face. And the chilled out songs are really chilled out. So it's like, it's way, like I said, way more diverse, way more. I know every band says it, oh, it's the best record we've made. It genuinely is the best record we've the best music we've written together. It's great. It gave me time to realise that, because I initially was going to quit this band. Like, yeah, Two years ago when we played Reading and Leeds, after that I was like, because we were in debt really bad, I was like, we're going to play these festivals, pay off the debt, I'm going to quit, get a proper job, I'm sick of it. And then, in the downtime after that, I wrote like three or four songs and I was like, there's no way in hell I can do anything else. So it, it, it allowed me to sort of go through the motions a bit and, and then come back and realise that I definitely do want to be playing music.